Hello, people. Are we under martial law and don't even know it? Is this whole scenario with this pandemic and all the restrictions and rules and regulations and the sheltering in and all of these things that are going on, is this really martial law? Because when you're told that you have to shelter in or you can't leave your house, okay, and when you're told, when businesses are told, like all these businesses that are being shut down, at least in this state, um, when businesses are told, all restaurants, all businesses, all non-essential businesses are being told that they have to shut down, okay, how is this different than if they declare martial law? How is it different? I don't see a big difference here. And so basically what they've done, people, is a form of martial law without you knowing it, okay? And so what we have to do as individual, free individuals on this planet is try to discern, okay, Truth from untruth, and it reminds me of the Egyptian god Anupu or Anubis, okay, which is the little jackal god or uh, the dog god, <clears throat> which is a very good thing as opposed to some people might think, oh, the jackal god, the dog god. No, this is a very good uh, representation of using your not only self-control uh, with, with oneself, but being able to discern, okay, having discernment. And in my previous video, I called that having a spirit of a sound mind. Being able to uh, be relaxed and calm enough uh, and uh, centered enough to realize truth from untruth, okay, or having the discernment to realize uh, what's good for you, what isn't good for you, uh, what's real and what isn't real, okay? Now, in the Egyptian tree of life, okay, or in a, on a spiritual sense, and I'm, I guess I'm going to be talking both spiritual, uh, spiritual things and practical things to help you through this situation that we're, we've, we're finding ourselves in, because... We don't know where this is going, but if we use discernment, intuition, okay, and our higher consciousness, maybe we can discern where this is going, okay? Maybe we can see into the future, okay, based on certain feelings that we have, intuitive feelings in certain directions from the higher source, okay, the higher uh, consciousness the higher frequency. So, when I look at the situation here and uh, see it for what it is, I'm seeing that this is none other than a guise, okay, what's being laid on people. In other words, not being able to communicate, not being able to do this, not being able to do that. Uh, businesses not being able to open. Really? Really? I mean, first of all, we realize that this is an illusion, okay? That life is an illusion. But within that illusion, okay, they can create other illusions, okay? They can create the illusion of fear, okay? They can create the illusion of um, you, you having to do certain things. Okay. And I talked about this earlier, you know, with the, uh, the concept of false flags. Now, recently I got, this is very interesting. Recently I got one of my videos taken down. Okay. And that was an old video, maybe, oh, I'd say, a year, two years ago on 9-11, okay, 9-1-1, 9-11, the incident with the Twin Towers. And I did a video on that telling the truth about it, okay, and telling how that was used 
as a false flag, okay, to put people in panic and fear, okay, and 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 use that panic and fear to institute certain rules and laws and regulations and and uh, homeland security and the patriot act and all these things that limit okay people's freedoms and limit um limit the freedoms of the constitution li limit the uh limit the constitution okay take away uh the rights of people now i'm beyond the constitution i'm i'm for the rights or the freedom of people to move about to be free to do to do whatever they want to do and you know whenever they institute a law okay whenever they institute a new law under the guise of it's for the better good of the populace as a whole you have to be wary okay uh it's for the common good okay is what the name uh or is is the uh is the sentence or the phrase okay that they use this is for the common good any rule or regulation uh what they want to impose on you is for the common good okay that is a misuse of uh, semantics in a way uh, not in a way it is um because like when they want to take, uh, when they want to have control of anything, say like gun control or this control or that control, it's always for the common good we are imposing this rule or law. But really, is it for the common good? Is that just a cop-out? Is that just a phrase that they use to... Um, make you feel like if you don't comply with it, then you're not complying with the common good or for the good of all people, okay? So under that guise, they take away individual rights, okay, that we are guaranteed not only by natural law, okay, which I have talked about in a bunch of series <laughs> uh, prior to these this series that I'm doing, it's not only our right under natural law, okay, but it's our right under the under constitutional law. But natural law does trump, and I, there's no pun intended there, uh, constitutional law, okay, because that's our rights as individuals, as free individuals, to move about, to be free, to uh, to do what is best for us, okay. As long as we're not hurting somebody else, okay. But of course, they'll they they twist things and they they make they make things look like well, if you don't comply with this, you're hurting the common good or you're hurting somebody else. When in reality, again, that's just a tactic, okay, that is used by the dark ones, uh, the powers to be. So, people, you have to you have to realize what's going on here. You have to realize that your individual rights uh, of freedom to be able to move about, uh, to be able to conduct business. Okay, these poor business owners. Um, I feel for them. Okay, these small business owners. Like I go to several restaurants uh, in the Las Vegas area. And unless they can provide like uh, curbside service or home delivery, um, they're all being shut down. They're all being told that, oh, you have to shut your doors now. And uh, so can you imagine the impact? Okay. Can you imagine the impact on society as a whole? Okay. Can you imagine the impact on the financial situation can you imagine the impact on uh the whole financial uh 
the way finances, the way society works, interaction, uh, common goods, uh, you know, uh, dispersion of goods, uh, people, people making a living. Um, what is essential to one person may not be essential to another. Okay. So when they say, oh, well, we're shutting down all businesses uh, that aren't essential to the common good or, or to mankind, who makes that decision? Okay, and this is where people have to think for themselves. And, and I'm surprised. Let's, let's take, for example, what would happen, okay, what would happen if all the businesses all these restaurants and, and supposed non-essential businesses decided, hey, you know what, we're, we're not going to comply with this. This is an infringement on our rights as uh, people, natural law and constitutional law, and we're, we're not going to comply with this. So what if, what if all businesses all at once, all of them, okay, across the nation, decided, hey, we're not going to comply with this. Well, what, what, what could they do then? Would they have enough manpower to send, send cops around to every business and tell them that you're to close your doors or arrest them for uh, violating a law? They couldn't do it, okay? They couldn't do it because that would be a different form of martial law. That would be a form of martial law where troops are required, uh, mass police forces are required. Uh, the National Guard might be required. They don't have, statistically, logistically, okay, they don't have enough people to do that, okay? They don't have enough people to go around and shut everybody down and make everybody stay in their house. So, how did they accomplish it without this? them knowing, okay, that they don't have enough people to do this. How did they accomplish how did they accomplish this without using actual forces? Will they accomplish it in the way that they're doing it? They accomplish it by issuing mandates by the governors, okay, that all businesses must close down in the guise of protection, okay? against a dis-ease, okay, that doesn't even exist, okay. Does it exist? Well, the, the numbers don't bear out, okay, that even if it existed, the numbers don't bear out that it is a danger to uh, the community or the common good at large. The numbers don't bear it out, okay. So, this is where discernment comes in. This is where, uh, uh, like I mentioned earlier, the god Anubis, okay, the little jackal god, um, which represents discernment comes in, which, which, uh, which uh, is there to uh, tell us to use our clarity of mind and our consciousness, okay, to... Uh, try to discern what's happening here so so what is happening well the the final outcome that i i'm seeing here is that um with this 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 crash in the this this is definitely going to cause a crash in the economy of major cities okay when when small businesses can't exist okay so are these governors really having the best interests of the people or are they just uh, shooting from the hip here because maybe they got a directive from on high, okay, from uh, the, fed, the feds, the federal government, or some other source, okay. Now, you know that these governors and you know that these senators and you know that the politicians are not really here for the people's common good. They're not really here for our good. Okay. They're here to cause uh, problems. Okay. 
They're here to, to, to maybe uh, institute population control, institute, uh, oh, maybe uh, a, a form of fascism or a form of tyranny or a form of communism, some kind of ism, okay? But are they really here for your common good? So, what can we do? Well, now here's some spiritual advice. Um, oh, before I go there, though, let me let me mention that since YouTube is probably going to clamp down on anybody that's telling truth right now, even even though I have this small group of followers, okay, or people that listen to me. If they do take my channel down uh, for some reason or give me a bunch of strikes or whatever, whatever the, those fools want to do. Um, and see, that's censorship, too. So that's just part of the control and the manipulation of society as a whole. OK, where is this going? Where is this going? Where is this going to end? Well. Who knows? But let me finish what uh, my thought there. I'm going to post a link in this video, either in the comments section or in the description of the video of my other uh, account, or let's say my other uh, way of dispensing uh, video and knowledge, and that's on BitChute. Okay, so I'll put I'll put that uh, I'll put that link. There's there's only a few videos there, and also I have another channel called the Great Work. Okay, so if if something happens to this one, uh, you can go to the uh, one of those two links, and uh, I'll start posting there, or whatever, if I feel the need to. But back to uh, back to this uh, situation of. Uh, discernment okay and where this is going in order to calm your mind uh, I suggest that you do like what I suggested in my previous video or maybe it was the one before about breathing okay not panicking bringing the breath of life and the breath of energy into your being okay by breathing by conscious breathing slowly okay and allowing your uh, thought processes to slow down, not be panicky. My life partner, Natalie, went to uh, town yesterday to get some supplies. Okay. And I want to I wanna give a shout out, okay, to my grocer, okay, who is Trader Joe's. Who had the discernment, okay, to only allow a hundred people into the supermarket at a time, and to only allow them to buy two or three uh, items of each, whatever they were buying. Like if they were buying a canned good, they could like beans. Let's say they could only get three of those canned goods, so that they didn't just clean out the shelves. So that, that to me is using a spirit of discernment. Now, while she was in line talking to people, many people realized, okay, that uh, are realizing that, that, that this is a, man, a mass manipulation of uh, the populace, okay? It's a mass manipulation of the populace. I mean, there were cops everywhere, okay, so what does that tell you? Well, that tells you that the order followers, okay, of the military and the police and uh, all these different agencies, okay, are there in case um, people don't want to comply, okay? So, yes, this is a form of martial law coupled with a false flag okay and as i said earlier earlier in one of my other videos a false flag is when they institute some type of uh action that causes shock and panic in the people and 
allows them to uh, put forth certain procedures or laws or orders, okay, in effect, and the people for the most part accept it without question, okay, because they're in shock and they're in fear. Now, the way to control fear, again, is to go to that higher frequency, that higher consciousness, okay. Now, this this uh this whole thing is is bringing about uh all kinds of realizations to me okay now one of the one of the reasons that people are going into supermarkets and cleaning them out okay of food and other you know toiletry products is because mankind in general eats too much okay basically uh Mankind in America, let's say America, okay, because a lot of third world countries and a lot of European countries aren't into this mindset. But in America, we eat way, way, way more, okay, with fast foods and junk and sweets and uh, meat and potatoes and all this stuff that we're stuffing into our mouth, okay. That we're stuffing into our mouth uh, immediately when people start thinking that they can't have these things panic sets in okay whereas if they were you know more on the vegetarian side more into eating healthy more e into eating less okay more into fasting more into spiritual practices okay more into practices that are in tune with nature, then we wouldn't have this problem, would we? People wouldn't be panicking. People wouldn't think that they have to go to the store and clean it out and get a storehouse full of food, okay? They would know that they could exist on less. So, in a sense, okay, What's being brought to the consciousness here on some level by this? Because, see, there's always, even though things are really, really supposedly bad right now, um, there's always a way to look at things, okay, where you see the good in it, okay? You see the, what, what good could come out of it. Even though they intend evil, and even though they intend, uh, for things to be hurtful if you look at, if you look for the good okay and the good is okay the good in in this is realizing what a materialistic society we live in what a hoarding society we live in what a uh, keep up with the joneses society we live in so basically what this is doing is it's 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 breaking down, okay, these false concepts. Maybe people will realize. Now the people that don't realize, that don't come to this realization, like the people that were in line at, at Trader Joe's and, and, and my life partner Natalie was talking to and they were coming to certain realizations, there's always other people that aren't going to come to these realizations. There's always other people that are going to panic. They're going to flip out. They're going to fight with each other. They're going to fight over goods. Uh, they're, you know, they're, they're going, they're going to uh, go to their lower natures. They're not going to go to their higher nature. Okay, here. I'm urging everybody here to go to your higher nature. Okay. Now, when I say uh, when I say things like uh, I have in my last videos, we're uh, don't comply, okay, with things that are hurtful to you. That doesn't mean that you know you go out and cause rioting and that you go out and uh, urge others to have a revolution. Or just what it means is keep your power, okay? Keep your power. In other words, if you feel that you have to go out for a certain reason. If you feel you want to go out in nature, if you feel that you want to move about, uh, do so, okay? Not at any kind of risk. Uh, that's not what I'm advocating, but I am advocating 
that you remain free of thought, body, mind, and spirit. Okay. Now, in the in the spiritual scheme of things here, okay, this 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 to me indicates that some kind of process is going on uh, that will play out, okay, on a spiritual level, and and that is the benevolent and malevolent level, good versus evil, dark versus light. So I I see something playing out on that level, and I'm seeing, okay that you're going to have to remain centered and calm and and as I stated earlier in my earlier videos is to 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 raise up that consciousness to where if things move from a third dimensional level to let's say a fourth dimensional level or a fifth dimensional you're prepared for that okay mentally and spiritually on a spiritual level okay we don't know where this is going this again uh, is an agenda. We don't know what the agenda is. All we know is that it's it's a giant false flag, just like 9/11. Okay, was a false flag. Just like uh, there have been false flags in history to complete agendas. We don't know where this is going on their level here. We don't know where it's going, but we can see that it's it's not. For any good purpose, okay, it's for mass control of your thought and your mind. Anything that causes fear, anything that causes fear in people and is perpetuated by the governments, okay, to create anxiety and fear is not a good thing, people. It's not a good thing. And the way that this is all playing out, the way that they're giving commands and orders about shutting this down and shutting that down is it a test uh, is it a test to see how how people how much they can get people to comply uh if it is it's it's a horrible thing because i'm sure a lot of people uh are going to be harmed by their panic and their anxiety okay and a lot of people are going to suffer Okay, so this is this is just dark and evil. It could have been handled totally different. It could have been handled totally different. It could have been handled in a way that it didn't cause fear and panic. Okay, but that's not the way it's being handled. Okay, it's outright fear mongering. It's outright fear mongering, and in a sense, in a sense, uh. That should tell you, uh, that should create in you a sense of, not anger on the level of uh, where you just get angry and you hold it in, but righteous indignation, okay, to the fact that they're, they're actually harming people on a psychological level. But this isn't just psychological. I mean, let's look at the whole big picture. They're, they're spraying chemtrails in the skies, okay. They're polluting the ocean. They're they're releasing biological weapons, and that's what this is really is a biological weapon. If it exists, it could be a total psychological weapon. It doesn't necessarily have to be a biological weapon, because a psychological weapon is as insidious and even more so than a biological weapon. So people, uh, keep keep all these thoughts in mind. Share this video with, with your friends and neighbors and relatives and uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, just so, not that I get more views, but we can spread this truth around. Because that's what's really needed right now in this, this day and age is truth, okay? I'm seeing the colors here change in the video, and if you're seeing that, I have no idea what's going on. Could be the outside clouds behind the curtain or any number of things. Um, then again, it could be cosmic. Who knows? So I guess I'll leave it there. Uh, watch, watch some of my videos, previous videos on breathing and 
and raising your consciousness and getting into spiritual practices, uh, communing with nature. <clears throat> if you're in an area where you can get outside without prying eyes and all this bullshit, go outside, breathe the air, look at Mother Nature and realize that that has nothing to do with this. Okay? Mother Nature is the actual manifestation of the creator it's the it's the manifestation of the creative mind at work okay in fact everything you see around you is vibratory energy and a emanation of the supreme being so just keep that in mind uh, keep in mind the things that are uh important uh, really, the real reality is that of nature and that of the mind and that of and don't worry, don't worry about all this because however it plays out, that creative energy is always going to be there. It's like you know when you went to uh, these little bumper car things when you were a kid and they had a pole that went up and was connected to some electronic mesh at the top, okay, and you went around bumping into other people, and, ooh, ooh, bumping in and bumping in and bumping your heads and doing all this. Even though all that was going on, this wherever you went, this electronic mesh was controlling everything. Well, that's a, that's a way to look at, at, at spirit. That's a way to look at the Supreme Spirit is that it's always there, okay? It's always emanating. It's always manifesting. Okay. So realize that you're always in the mind of the creator and that this will play out. Okay. In a way that is, I'm, my thought, my thought process is in, in a way that is beneficial to mankind. So maybe, maybe it's all how we look at this. Maybe it's all. What we see will change the programming in our mind, okay? Change the programming so that what you see and manifest in your reality is for a good purpose, okay? So let's make this, all of this stuff that's happening, they want it to be for a bad purpose, as I mentioned earlier, on this lower man, uh, mundane third dimensional level. But let's let's transmute that and let's make it all for a righteous purpose or a good purpose. The outcome being a good one. Okay. So I'll leave you uh, leave it there today with those thoughts, uh, raising the, the 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 consciousness up above fear. Okay. My intention here is to not to cause fear. It's to uh, causing a cause a raise of consciousness, a raising of consciousness and a realization of maybe truthful things, their intent being evil, but how we can transmute that into making it somehow good, okay? Making, making this outcome good because there will be a big change. And usually people that, that, that are perpetuating evil one last really good thought here. People that are perpetuating evil, it usually is going to come back and bite them in the ass, okay? It's called karma. It's called cause and effect. And that might be my next video that I do. I might do a video on the hermetic laws of the universe, okay? And how they affect us and how that we can use them to our benefit. So I'll leave it there, people. Uh, thank you for listening, and uh, feel free to watch my other videos. And I will try to put those links in about uh, other places that I will be available if this uh, this this happens to be uh, shut down for some reason. Amon Ra, the revelation of the absolute. Through the deity Amun-Ra, peace, love unto you.